When installing lowering springs on a 94 to 2004 Mustang, kind of like this 98 Cobra behind us, you just about have to run caster camber plates because the factory camber plates just won't even get it close to being in alignment. Now luckily we carry these J&M caster camber plates that feature four bolt mounting. That way they will stand up to the heavy stresses of daily driving along with performance driving without missing a beat. They also feature a spherical bearing, full caster adjustment and full camber adjustment that way you can get your car back into alignment as easily as possible. They also come with a series of strut spacers. You'll have to experiment with a spacer stack to get your strut height set properly for your car. Every car will be different. Now the instructions included with this kit are pretty thorough and they'll walk you through the processes of how to mark to drill the hole and how to set your strut height. Now, a couple of things that you are going to want to grab beyond your common hand tools is an electric drill with a 3H chuck and a 13 30 seconds drill bit. That way you can drill out that fourth hole. Now, because these instructions are so thorough, really don't have to walk you through a step by step, but I do want to touch on a few of the high points. So follow along as we put a set of these J&M caster camber plates on Carson's 98 Cobra. Once you get your car elevated, use an air impact or something equivalent to remove the upper strut nut with that upper strut nut out of the way, lower the strut from the camber plate and go ahead and remove the camber plate nuts, get it out of the car. Clean the top of your strut tower, grab your new caster camber plate and mark and center punch the hole as per the instructions. Once you're done with that, grab your drill and prepare to drill the hole. Be careful because once that bit breaks through the metal, it's going to try and twist your arm around if you're using a very high torque drill. Go ahead, assemble your new caster camber plates, tighten everything down, put the car on the ground, and get ready for your alignment. Adding in a set of J&M caster camber plates to your lowering spring install should add no more than 30 to 45 minutes to your total installation time. And by doing that, it'll give your alignment shop the full caster and camber adjustability needed to get your car back into alignment. Our alignment shop had no trouble getting us back into spec. Now, I wanna to touch again on the strut spacers, you definitely want to take the time and experiment with different strut spacer stacks. That way you get your strut shaft height at the correct level because you don't want your struts bottoming out. That's what you're trying to prevent. Now don't be afraid about drilling that fourth hole on these caster camber plates. It really is quite easy if you follow the instructions, mark everything out right, and take your time drilling. Now once you get the installation completed, don't pass go, don't collect $200, go straight to your alignment shop and get your car aligned because you don't want to wear out your tires. Now for more suspension options for your Mustang along with installation tips, check out LateModelRestoration.com.